Hi guys, it's Nicole and today I'm going to be sharing a cut file from cut to you designs today I am going to be playing with the seriously awesome title phrase cut file You can see it over here in the upper left. I also chose to pull out my creating with collections volume 4 kit which is the Coco vanilla storyteller line I was just kind of in the mood to do another layout with my family photos from last year so I just kind of go through the online store at cut to you and sometimes I'll go through with photos in mind and just kind of see if something catches my eye in this instance I already had my photos picked edited and printed as I was using a sketch the sketch is from scrapbook generation if I can find the bundle in their shop, I'll link it below. I do try to remember to go back and link everything in the description. Sometimes I miss something. If I ever miss something, leave me a comment and typically I see it and I can go back and fix my description box. So in this case, I'm starting with a sketch with my photos. And so when I was going through the shop, I kind of already knew how much space I had available to me on the layout and I chose to kind of focus on titles and or background files because I thought well I can always substitute the three by three squares and just kind of do like an intricate die cut background or just go with a title piece so in this instance I chose to kind of substitute the title that was depicted on the sketch where maybe it's letter stickers, thickers, DIY thickers, whatever it may be. I chose to kind of substitute that entire area of the sketch and instead fill it in with the seriously awesome title piece. And what I did was I used the 6x8 paper pad because the sketch that I am using is from like a set of sketches where the focus is on six by six pads so I just kind of had in my mind that it would be a good method to kind of get some of the six by eight papers used up I did go ahead and cut the outline from a wood pattern paper which if you guys know me that's like my absolute favorite and I have a tendency to hoard it it felt almost wasteful to cut it with this phrase because I knew that the inside letter pieces would probably end up going in the trash. I'm gonna try to die cut some tiny hearts from them before I kind of consider it trash. The backing pieces, I just picked two colors that I kind of felt went with the colors of his outfit. So two B-sides basically. I tend to lean towards the B-sides. I like them a lot more. I find myself having a more difficult time using the more busy A-sides, so knowing that, I'm a little nervous to see where the end of this kit takes me as far as what's left, so I don't know, I think we'll, we'll see what happens many layouts from now. Um, as I was... Figuring things out, I did take a peek through my 3x4 cards because I wanted to see if there was anything that had like a centered phrase or a centered icon that supported the theme of my layout. I did not find one, but because the squares on this sketch are 3x3, I wanted to double check and see if there was any of the 3x4 cards that I felt like I could use. Now, I did kind of chop up my video a little bit. I'm not sure what was going on. <laughs> I almost think that this is not a true six inch width because later when I go to put some of my squares together, they weren't true three by three squares. So I don't know if that was just me cutting things wrong or me assuming that the paper was six inches wide and just cutting them in half. So sometimes paper math is hard. <laughs> I did cut out a lot of my photo cutting as well because I did change up the size of some of my photos as what was shown on the sketch and photo collage math is also hard sometimes. 
so I tend to kind of cut that out of my videos just because I don't want to watch myself struggle again and I don't think you guys want to watch me struggle through it so with that I try to arrange them in a way that I feel like is sort of that random but looks good random I'm not very good at it and I also tend to do this thing where the ones where I know my photo is going to cover the majority of the square or the title is going to cover the majority of the square, I will put like my least favorite pattern on there. Nobody hate me, but in this instance, it's those multicolored hearts. I think the hearts are absolutely cute. I just think compared to all the other patterns that I picked, it's very busy. I think... It wasn't until I got done with the layout and I was putting things away that I was like, you didn't have to use papers from the 6x8 pad because there was some other patterns in the full size sheets that I feel like would have looked a little bit better. But it's one of those things where you just, you go with what you, what you picked. We're not going to pick apart the layout. We're not going to redo it. It's done. We're going to move on. Those paper, now, now I know going forward, if... I go to a sketch that leans towards 6x6 papers that I don't have to only choose papers from the 6x8 pad in my kit. I can pick from anything in my kit. Sometimes I forget what my, what my plan is here. So again, I am pretty much putting my photos where the sketch depicts and just kind of trying to figure out a way to nestle my title piece in there. I'm going to be using the row of squares to kind of line up my title and just make sure that at least something on here is straight. I do try to do that, especially when the photos are kind of tilted or wonky. I like to make sure that at least my title or my journaling is straight and I suck at eyeballing that, so that's where your T-ruler is going to come in handy. I did journaling strips, and it looks a little messy on here, and it is intended. What I did was I basically typed out my journaling, and I kind of eyeballed the area where I knew it was going to go, and I make my, like, where my first row is, I made it the width of the area that I have underneath the word awesome up until that little banner piece. So when I looked at it, I was like, okay, I can probably get three lines of journaling that's about three or four inches wide, and then I can go full width underneath there. So I've got three kind of short lines and three long lines, and I explained that terribly, but this is just something that I, I've done for years. If I know I'm going to use journaling strips and I'm going to kind of nestle them in or around other objects, I will eyeball it and I will just kind of hit return on my word processing program and try to make it fit to the best of my ability on there because I don't like to have to go through and cut apart my strips and have... It's, I've done it that way and it just... I don't like it. It kind of ends up looking a little weird if, if I'm being honest. So that's just the way that I do things. You absolutely do not need to do that. You do the journaling the way you want to if you even journal at that. I know everybody's different and that's kind of my favorite thing about going and watching process videos is just seeing the different methods that people do, the different things that is like their style and their go-to techniques and... I know I just find the differences and stuff like that super interesting, especially with this being such a new and popular paper collection. I've been going and watching a bunch of process videos of people using it. And it's just fascinating to me, like how everybody kind of has different favorite patterns, different embellishments that they got. Maybe they got all of them. Maybe they just picked a couple. It's just super interesting to me to kind of go see what people do. And like in this case, Sarah Scraps is playing along with the Creating with Collection series and our videos go up at the same time. So a lot of times I know my video is going to post and I'm excited for people to see it, but half, most of the time I'm more excited to go see her video. The kit reveal videos, I was like chomping at the bit to see what she got and then was kind of laughing because we bought a lot of the same things. 
But like I watched her process video for her first layout and night and day to me. And that's because our styles are different. Our processes are different. Our end goal is different. Our planning is different. Our like the, the artistic things that we like is different. But the commonality is the kit and this sort of challenge of using up as much of it as we possibly can and sharing that process along the way. So I'm super excited that she's playing along with me this round, mostly because of the fact that we just have different styles. I find that stuff, it's just fascinating to me. Um, one of the last things that I did was these little stacked die cut hearts. Um, one of my recent like zoom crops that I hosted, I just sat here and kind of glued a bunch of the white ones together. I do three layers of a white cardstock and then more often than not, I don't put the pattern paper like top layer on until I do the layout and I kind of know what colors and what sizes I want. And I kind of make them as I go instead of kind of guessing, but I've done it both ways where I've kind of just taken a whole bunch of scraps and made a bunch of hearts and then that was sort of what I had to pick from but in this instance I really just didn't have the time to kind of go through and cut more so I only had these three patterns that I had previously cut to kind of work with but it ended up working out great because it was some wood grain which is my favorite pattern and it was just kind of a fun way to sneak in some more of the wood grain and then there was that dark navy and then the little pops of pink so with that, this is my completed layout. Again, links below to the cut file, the kit series, Sarah's videos, all of that stuff will be down in the description box below. If you have any questions or you can't find something, 100% leave me a question. I love chatting with you guys. I think um, there's a good chunk of people in my Facebook group that are also playing along with this collection. So it's been really fun to see their take on it as well. As always, I appreciate you guys spending some time with me and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.